Sometimes complex backgrounds can make it really difficult for Photoshop to remove the background with a simple click. Now, as you can see, it will give it a go, but it's going to struggle within this area inside of the image. A simple way to fix this and a simple way to remove this type of background is to use the channels. Now with the channels, we're going to look through the red, green, and blue. And you want to see which one has the most contrast between the background and the object. By the looks of this, we have blue. You then want to drag this down and get yourself a copy of it. And with this copy, we're going to press Control or Command and L. This will bring up the levels. And once again, we're going to enhance the black colors and the white colors. So by using the pick whip, you can select and target the Y areas that you wanted to brighten up. You can also use the dark colors and you can sample yourself the darkest tones that you want to apply. You can also manually edit this if you want to by dragging the points further in or further out. This is to balance out the dark colors and the bright colors. So as you can see, somewhere around here is really good. You don't have to worry about these edges because we can also remove this. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and press OK. And for the dark edges, all we need to do is by using the brush tool, we're going to increase the brush size. And you want to set it to hardness on 100. Set it to a white color and then remove the excess away. Same goes for this side as well. We can also use the polygonal lasso tool and select ourselves this area near the bottom. Once again, using the brush tool, we're going to paint this away and same goes for this gap right here. Now, once you've done that, you want to have a look at the image and see if there's any other areas that needs enhancing. So for example, this area right here actually needs to be included. A cool and simple trick to fix this is to use the brush and set it to overlay. If you switch over to a black color, you can paint on this area and it will only affect the dark areas. We can switch it back to normal and then apply onto here. So as you can see, so far, this is looking really good. We also have one near the bottom here, which we need to use the overlay and apply it on here. Same goes for this area. And if there's anywhere else that you need it to apply, you just want to apply it onto here. Now, once you're happy with your new channel, you can then Go ahead and hold control, left click on the thumbnail, get yourself a selection, and we're just going to press control, shift, and I. This will invert it and select the object. Going back to RGB, we can go onto the layers. And if you get yourself a mask, this will now remove the background. And as you can see, it's done a really good job on maintaining the details. We have all of the details from this crane. From here, we can get ourselves a new background and we can compare it and see if there's anything else that we need to clean up. I personally like to get myself a dark reddish color for it underneath. And as you can see, we still have those bright edges. Now, there is multiple ways that you can fix this, but one of the quickest is to select the mask. If you go to filter, down to other, you can get yourself a minimum. Sometimes this can be a little bit longer to process depending on how much details you have. And if you wanted to be precise with the details and you wanted to have a decimal point, I would recommend the roundness. The squareness will only allow you to have one, two and whole numbers. Now you also want to be careful as well because if you have any really thin details like here, for example, if you go too deep, it will remove this detail. Once you're happy with the results, go ahead and press OK. And there we go.
if we now remove this background, you can do any other adjustments. Let's say if you wanted to brighten this back up, we can apply it onto here. You can apply some contrast. You can also apply some hue and saturation. Make it nice and colorful. And there we go.